that means we are oh, back. Right. Coffee talk, summer coffee talk. I got Starbucks, unfortunately, today. Yeah, but, you know, my coffee pot's broke. I got a new one on the way coming in. Broke yeah, we travel and, and definitely need a backup too. Like we've got we need a ba- two. I, I so like yeah, I used to have a backup also because I had roommates, and now now yeah. I don't have roommates and so no backup. So Starbucks down the street, it is. We're gonna talk about your living situation. We got a backup first, and first of all, this podcast is brought to you by our friends at the TAC. If you haven't downloaded mm. the Attack app yet, I don't know what you're doing. It is I the best training app for athletes, and it's geared towards wrestling. And you can, it, it's a it's a training app for competitive athletes. But if somebody like me wanted to try to keep up with people and stay in shape, like you can do that. And I know you can go on there and you can pick a program. You can do the Reese Humphrey. You can do the Ryan Deacon, mm. the Trent Hydley. Like there are so many cool things to do. So download Attack. The AI that they have is. If it wasn't geared towards wrestling, this thing would already be like bought and sold on Wall Street. Like it's their AI dissing, is. Are you dissing wrestling? No, we have such a tight knit community. It's so small. Mm, like if it right, like right. if it was towards basketball players or football players, like mm. the level of greatness this app has, it would it would explode. But because wrestling's so I agree. small, that's I agree. that's the only issue. So download attack ATAC. Follow them on social. Great people buying the company. We're going to have them on soon. Love attack. Download attack. All right, Chenzo, we so let me start and explain my absence for the last month because it took some time. Right, I'll, I'll go next. You go first. Okay. I took a couple of weeks off, then got back two episodes. Our contractor who's doing our backyard, pool, kitchen, where we're going to watch Bill Steelers if we don't go. Right. If it, big it, if. they basically bailed on half of it. And I had to take over. And I'm nice. now like GCing a backyard, and I do not know how to do that. You don't know how to so, GC? No, like I'm making calls and getting material. I do not know what it is. And I'm like sweet talking people. Like, yeah, I need uh, three loads of Crusher too. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I just start playing Catan. Be like, I need, I need wood. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it, it's been absolutely brutal. Brick. And, mm. and you, I'm not going to put blame on you. But knowing everything That's you got okay. going on, I was kind of like waiting to do a show with you right. because no matter who I have on, they're like, OK, but bring Chenzo back on. Like, we need to know what's going on. So then it was like a natural. Let me deal with this. Let you get settled. I'm One of my favorite things is keeping people in the dark. Yeah, so that's that's how kind of how I roll. I think for three weeks straight, probably I had people text me like first it was, is this true? Then it was like, and it was like every step of the way, like right. I heard Ch- Chenzo might step down from Stanford. Then it was, I heard Chenzo might go to Arizona. I heard Chenzo might go to Jersey. I heard this. I heard this. And I'm just like, okay. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know. And like, none of them, I don't think we're like fishing for information to like post right. it out or anything. It's just like, I think you had such a whirlwind for like three months. Like you had it, a crazy, yeah, it was, like it was about, about two months time there where i just had a lot going on where i had to make some decisions let's go back because first of all you weren't really planning on competing anymore no like you you got an amazing coaching opportunity you jumped on it and you were satisfied with that then you told me like i think early april when we recorded the show last together like yo i think (laughs) i'm going to the open and i'm like can we talk about it you're like Mm -hmm. No, I might not go still. <laughs> so what right. led to coming back and wrestling at the Open? Um, well, just the training, you know, with the Stanford guys, wrestling with them, wrestling with the uh, California RTC guys, and just, you know, just kind of enjoy, enjoying, you know, the process, enjoying training for me, um, and just, you know, listening to the support I had. You know, I had guys like Enoch just in my ear all the time telling me that, you know, and, and Shane, too, just telling me that I need to go out there and compete, need to go wrestle. So I felt like it was a good idea, um, you know, win, lose, whatever, just go compete and uh, be, you know, a good example for not just, you know, my athletes, but, you know, younger kids in general, just trying to watch and, you know, have a good idea of, of how to compete, you know, in a freestyle match, things like that. So that was uh, really the game plan for, you know, from for that. Then uh, things just kind of spiraled and, you know, I started <laughs> I started enjoying my training and just kind of loving what I was doing again. And uh, I haven't, you know, had that in a, in a long time. So. I uh, decided to kind of roll with it. And, uh, you know, I mean, I, I did have, you know, really good year coaching. I've learned a ton. Um, 
you know, if I, if I stayed coaching, there's no other coaching staff I'd want to work with. Uh, those guys are unbelievable, but yeah, it was just, uh, it was time to, to get back to it. And then, you know, then the process kind of started of, you know, where I was going to be doing my training at. Well, and you like, first of all, you came out of the gate at the U S open swinging like oh, yeah you it there was no like shaking dust off or anything like it looked like you were in great shape in standard competition shape there was no like that win over derringer and stuff like that was the shape you were in looked like you're just in your normal cycle of like okay it's the open time yeah i mean the, the first match you know i was Definitely with uh, him, I was definitely getting pushed around a little bit. Um, kind of started to figure things out more towards the end of the match, I think. But, yeah, I mean, I, I'm not going to say, you know, that I was in bad shape. I'm not going to say I was in the best shape of my life. You know, I was I was ready to compete either way, though. Um, and, like, that's that's just how it goes. Like, you're not going to be able to be 100%, even whatever, you know, that's your goal, right? Even if I was never coaching and I was just focused on training the whole time, it's hard to go into anything being 100%. It doesn't really happen. So, um I think just, but that mindset though, let me kind of wrestle a hundred percent of myself though. It kind of just let me wrestle freely because I just wanted to compete. Yeah. What was your perspective or mindset after the open heading to the team trials? Like, were you surprised by your results? Were you like disappointed? Like what was, I was, I, I was kind of pissed, man. I was pissed. I lost. Uh, yeah. I know you were. I just want the fans <laughs> to hear. Yeah. No, I mean, I, <laughs> like, like you know and we, we've talked about it i was happy you know at the end of the tournament i thought i wrestled well i thought i you know, like i said um i stopped at the open i kind of stopped wrestling at the end of my finals match i think and that's what cost me but you know you live and you learn right i think it's a good experience for even you know, even me still at my age now still learning um but yeah even right after the open i was still on the fence i was like i don't know nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i was still i was pumped after i did I, I was still on the fence like people were asking about trials like right after like, oh, yeah, you'll probably have, like, this job for the trials. And I was like, yeah, I don't even know if I'm going to go do that. Uh, they're like, are you, ser- are you serious? Yeah, I'm, I might not. I don't know. And then um, shout out my boy Enoch for, you know, staying on me and making sure that, you know, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing and keeping my head right and making me go wrestle. But When was the turning point where you thought, I have – I don't want to say I have so much left in the tank. Because you say that about someone who's, like, 32, I feel like. Like there's something left in the tank. Like that's not really the the same. No, I feel like, like that's I feel like that's applicable. It's like that's like, like where my I'm mind not, goes. I'm not like young. In the, I'm not like a young guy in the sport anymore. So I mean, you're not an old guy in the sport. N- no, I'm right in the middle. So like, yeah. So, but after the open, before the team trials, was that when you started like debating going and competing full fledged for the next? Yeah, that next was that time? was like that was kind of the time where I was like, all right, I'm either going to just like, that was a fun tournament. I'm going to go back to coaching or I'm just going to go hundred percent into this. And then it was kind of one way or the other. And I just started training again after, uh, after the open, I mean, after the open to get ready for the trials. And I, I just couldn't, you know, I couldn't not do it again. I couldn't pass up on the opportunity to just train full time again. <laughs> Did you start reaching out to clubs or did they start reaching out to you right away? Um, well, as most, people I feel like you're a hot commodity. (laughs) So as most people know, I'm, uh, I've pretty, I'm down here in Arizona state. Now I have a really close tie. I did have close ties to this program. I guess now I have closer ties because I'm here. Uh, but you know, with, uh, Molinaro and Thompson on the coaching staff, and then just some of the athletes in the RTC that I've, you know, become uh, close with over the years, it was felt like a good decision. You know, I've talked to, you know, Zeke, Prince, Perry, all these guys before down here. And it just, it seemed like a good fit and a good idea. And uh, it was pretty much between here, um, staying at Stanford, obviously, um, you know, they did a really good job to set things up for me. It made my decision pretty tough. Um, and then New Jersey, RTC, um, <clears throat> Reese Humphrey, super tight. He's the man. I feel like um, Reese is always in the mix to get an athlete over there. <laughs> he's always well, he's, like, if he, if he isn't, he should be. I mean, he's right. I've, I've worked with him a few times and he's awesome. He's such a good coach. And uh, like, again, like really tough decision. I just didn't want to bring all my stuff back from the West coast to the East coast. <laughs> so I just like made it a little bit of a shorter trip. Did you drive yeah, down? Yeah, I drove down. Me and LG oh. drove. 
Luke, Luke, uh, flew, in, <laughs> Luke flew to California and drove down with me. I'm shocked they didn't get a FaceTime in that car, right? How long is that? Uh, it's not that long. It's only like 12 hours, but we like took some detours and stuff and made it a little bit of a trip. Uh, it's about like two weeks out from where our three group chat, you, me, and LG, oh, oh, starts up. Because as soon yeah, as college football starts, college all of a sudden, starts, he, just starts he starts hammering it. Um, he gets motor mouth in the group message. What did you think? I want to talk more about Arizona State World okay. Team Trials. What did you think of, mm-hmm. of how that all went down? Um, Again, you know, I, I was I probably, I, probably more pissed off than you were. <laughs> like, no, I was I was pissed, man. Um, I just got to get better. That's really it. Um, and there's a few things I picked up throughout that tournament, too, that like I was able to execute throughout the tournament that I was just picking up that day. So um, it, it was like I said, it was a good experience, just like the open, um, you know, hats off to chance for, you know, winning that bracket. I uh, thought, thought it was a pretty tough bracket. And, you know, I, I think uh, obviously I would have liked to win that. But I mean, just like that guy's story and everything, I think it's pretty inspirational. So, you know, I mean, can't be can't be upset about that. But, uh, you know, just just need to get better. Just need to learn, learn some more of these freestyle positions and stuff. But it just it got me excited to get back into it. because I'm like, man, like, you know, train like month and a half, two months for this. And I'm in the best of three going three matches to make it to uh, final X. So, you know, I might as well just keep rolling with it. Just keep getting better. I always figure out, forget figure out the whole weight class thing. I always forget that like wrestling fans are so like serious. Like I was trash talking chance after the match. And it was one oh, of those yeah. things where it's like, I know chance's story. It's a very cool story. I've thought about having on the podcast to share it. It's just timing hasn't worked out. But right after the match, I'm like tweeting out, like, I can't wait for Burroughs to beat you. Like, and of course I get attacked by everybody. And I'm like, Guys, like an hour later, I'm completely over it. Like, it's like football. The Bills lose to the Chiefs. And then I, you know, say something about Mahomes. Like, I don't really dislike Mahomes as a person. It's like just being a sports fan for an hour. Yeah, you're just, I, just being a fan. You're allowed to be a fan for a little bit. It, uh, I'm not allowed to. <laughs> no, you're not. Other people are. You you got a platform. That's why. Yeah, I got torn up. So, and I said, like, I'm not, wasn't trying to be disrespectful towards Chance. Like, there's nobody, arguably, right. that I root harder for than you. Like Burroughs is a really good that. friend of mine. And if you two wrestle, like that would probably be the toughest match I'd have to watch. But like I root harder for you and I, I take all the other hats off. Like I don't care what yeah. the podcast, the company, like <laughs> I, 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 company goes out the window. When well, and I think time. somebody maybe like the Amin's father was like, you know, if you want to grow your podcast, you should stop like the bias. And I'm like, dude, this is my guy. First and foremost, like, <laughs> I don't care about like, I never want to like to grow this podcast to become a priority over rooting for my people and being vocal about it. Like, that's not oh, yeah. what this is about. But I get what you're saying. But yeah, either way. So I definitely like that day I, I was bummed. And then the next day, <laughs> maybe a week later, the funniest thing when USA Wrestling puts out like the true third matches. Oh and, yeah, and I'm like, wow, Chenzo Carter. Let's put a graphic out real quick. And then I, so I text you, hey, are you are you gonna wrestle? And I don't post wait the gra- for the response. You, you post the graphic, <laughs> and then I text you back, and I'm like, no, nah, I'm not. I post the graphic. It literally that was like within like six minutes. It wasn't like you didn't get back to me for a day. Like you got back to me in ten minutes, and I already put the yeah. graphic up. What? Why didn't you wrestle there? You just didn't feel like making the trip or what? Um, yeah, all this shit going on too. You know, uh, I'm, I'm just, I was trying to figure out where my, you know, home was going to be for, you know, the next yep. how, time, how much time I'm here. Yeah. So, um, it just wasn't, wasn't a priority uh, to me at the time. And I, you know, I've wrestled Carter a thousand times. I'm sure I'll wrestle again. And that's really, about, that's really about it. Like, I don't, I don't know. Wasn't, yeah, that, it, wasn't a huge thing for me. That's that was a big decision. Um, I, I can understand taking that time to make that Sun Kiss Kids. Now, I love Sun Kiss Kids. They're a client of Bash Solutions. We built their website. Kim is who I work with. She's awesome. Mm-hmm. One of the nicest people ever. Um, 
how has that like change of pace been so far? Like you're, I think you're with tight Mercury. Now you're with sun kiss kids. You were in mm. California, Arizona, like still West coast, but a lot of changes right. with like every affiliation changed. Yeah. Um, it means that I have no workout gear. Cause oh, all cause... my workout gear is Stanford, tight Mercury and Penn state. So Dude, that's, you... that's what that means. Why don't I have a Chenzo Titan singlet for the office? Oh, I'll send you one. Dude, I'll have my wife shadow box it. We'll put it right yeah, next I'll, to the bash. Yeah, 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 I'll send you one. I'll send you one. Let's um, do that. <laughs> we can't. We you just got to frame the back, though. But yeah. yeah. Um, no, they're, they're well, great. I'm not going to frame the front. <laughs> Otherwise, I text Johnny Rook. Let me tell you. <laughs> Titan Mercury would just be getting pumped. Um, every time you do a show, you just Titan Mercury <laughs> ad in the background. But yeah, no, they've, they've been treating me great. Um, really you know accessible like easy to get, easy to reach easy to talk to um make just making things easy for me just let me focus on training it's how long have great. you been training there now um like two and a half weeks how's it been with frank um is he going yes, full go with you he doesn't know how to not go full go. <laughs> so like when it, and this is kind of how it's been since i've known him like even whenever i was the wee little freshman at penn state but you start, you know, wrestling, you get into the position. Then once, you know, once you get a leg or something like that, he is going 150% to get out of it. But yeah, he does not know anything, but hundred, which is great. Like I love great. about I Frank, every single great. thing he does is hundred percent. Yeah. I think it's great too, because then I just, I just start wrestling, but he, uh, he got me the other day though. I was kind of mad. <laughs> Where he are did. you guys weight wise right now? I'm bigger. Are you? Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Well, Frank gets pretty big. Frank will no, lose no. up, but he um, stays I, ripped. But I probably got like 10, 15 on him. Um, who is the that first was person you told there that you are going to make the move? Uh, at Stanford? No, at Arizona. Uh, was it Eric? Pro- probably Frank or Zeke, because that's, yeah. you know, just who I was talking to. Pro- so probably Zeke, um, just to solidify everything, but. Yeah, I mean, they, they all kind of knew together. And I mean, I saw Zeke got a contract extension. So congrats mm-hmm. to you, because really, that's you. Like, you know, right. okay, well, Chenzo's, Chenzo's on here campus now. A... Yeah, like, I'm not. Contract extension. Yeah. That's how that works. That's good stuff. Yeah, I'm excited to make a trip out there, like, between you, it's Frank's a... family, Eric. Like, yeah, it's a, it's a great place out here. It's, it's really hot, though. My first week here, I was like 115 the whole week. But isn't the humidity low, so it doesn't feel as hot? Or is that just no, like a? The, yeah, humidity is low, but it's still just hot. Like it's it's a hundred hotter than degrees. California. Oh yeah, really? It's not, even clo- it's not even close. Like where I was, it's not even close. Yeah. Dang. Like I was more north though. But yeah. What was the reaction from all the Stanford guys when you told them you wanted to go compete and you were going elsewhere? Um, they you know they they understand. Um, they 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 know that I'm not I'm like you know not just like bailing on them, but uh. You know, it's, it's, it's a, it was a tough situation. Like I, I came in and wrestled with, with some of them on my last day there. Um, talked to some of the guys. I mean, like, you know, it was, it was sad leaving them. And I'm going to keep rooting for them, keep cheering them on. And, you know, guys that I'm, I'm close with there, if they if they need something, you know, I'll help them any way I can. Um, I know the coach at Stanford wanted me to come up there and train with the RTC guys whenever I, I can every once in a while. So I'll probably make a plan to do that. Um, but, yeah, it's just, you know, it's – I'll see them around. It's not like I'm never going to see them. Again, yeah. But it's still, it, it, it does hurt a little bit, especially like the guys I put a lot of time in with last year, uh, guys I recruited, stuff like yeah. that. It's, you know, it definitely stings a little bit. And it's, it's kind of, it was kind of hard, but you got to do what you got to do. Yeah. And this sport is so grueling on top of any sport, but like even like any other sport, especially where it's team, it's so different where this dynamic, it's like coaching is 100% selfless. But mm-hmm. to make a world team to win a world championship, like it's a hundred percent selfish. Yeah. Like it's... and I just saw Ashnall, I think, stepping down from Rutgers to compete full time. You know, it's like and mm-hmm. Burroughs tried it. Burroughs tried it at Nebraska for like half a season. And he's yeah. like, Yeah, I'm just gonna compete full time. Yeah, it's it's tough. And like, you know, a lot of people ask me that, but like whenever I was in season, I wasn't even thinking about competing. Yeah. So it wasn't like I had like that, you know, kind of like crossroads of like, uh, I need to focus on myself today. Um, no, but I, I think that did kind of help me like in the long run, like not even non-intentionally, like just not focusing on myself, helped me kind of learn the sport a little bit better. 
but you were like you were wrestling so much. Like I remember like when we were trying to do <laughs> yeah. shows in certain times. I'm like, what do you think about tomorrow? You're like, like I, gotta, I gotta wrestle I gotta, this guy at seven, this guy at nine, this guy at eleven. You're like, I'm I'm beat, but yeah. That probably helped you stay in the shape that, that you're in now. I, I definitely I definitely think it did. I think I think it helped kind of build my endurance and uh like I said, it helped me learn more positions and just like get better at stuff that I wasn't good at before. So I was, you know, trying to learn for my my athletes other than just myself. Yeah, so, I mean it, it paid off. I mean, you looked it's, incredible at the hey, hey, we're, team trials. So I mean you can't we gotta keep progressing though. You know, that's that's two tournaments. We uh just gotta keep uh keep competing and get better. I need to find some tournaments or something soon. I was just going to ask, do you know when you're competing next? No, um, there were some stuff just going on, but obviously we didn't hit that, but I I don't know. Like I, uh, I talked to Perry about it. We need to, we're going to figure something out, whether we can end up going overseas, which I don't know if we'll be able to, Um, but yeah, we're going to figure out something. And we got to get a Bash of Mania and probably Bash Solutions logo on the singlet. Like we have to. I'm gonna I'm gonna reach out to Kim to make it happen. Yeah, we'll do. We'll get because I actually just spoke to her about that yesterday. About no, not the, about Bash Mania on the oh, show. perfect. Actually, <laughs> yeah. So like, just just follow up with that. She'll know what you're talking about. Yeah, hey, Kim, I just want to talk to you about what you and Chenzo were talking about with the uh, Bash <laughs> on the singlet. She, she'd be like, "What?" She's so sweet. She would probably think that she forgot something. She'd call me and be like, "Wait, were we supposed to do something?" Like, um, let's run it. We can we can do yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Big, big moves only. Big moves, Bash power leadership. moves, dude. I, I'm I'm pumped to power watch moves. you compete. Do you know how long? Like, did you commit to a certain amount of time frame, like through the Olympics, or did you? It's just kind of as you go. Yeah, that's Chenzo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. Just kind of, just kind of figure it out as I'm doing it. <laughs> You looking forward to the world team trials next year? I don't know if I'm going. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going. I don't know. I, I plan on going. I plan on going next year. Yeah. <laughs> like that's that's the game plan right now. And then I'll yeah. probably it, it's go back cool. to coaching. Um, how much have you been paying attention to like other wrestling storylines? Like, have you been um a, a decent bit? Can we talk uh, about I've... my prophecy coming true yesterday? What was that? Well, a year ago, I said, congrats to Cody for committing to Minnesota. Amazing for both of them. But seems a little early to commit. What do we think? Will Cody oh. be a gopher or will oh, Cody, he? Cody Chet- Cody yeah. <laughs> or will hey, he Cody? not? And it, it was Ch- like 53, Cody? 47 was the results. Cody Chetham is allowed to do whatever he wants. That, that man's a beast. He he's a savage and yeah he is he, he is, is he's a fun kid to watch. I was surprised when nice he, kid too, super nice kid, super nice. He's yeah. um, Fellers loves him. Fellers was the one who yeah. initially like turned me on to him. Like, dude, well, you gotta watch this guy a while back. But and I'm I don't care where he goes. I'm happy from wherever. I just remember like the comments, you know, like oh he's going reclassification. Yeah. This now I'm like okay he's a sophomore. I'm like, well, he was he was posting stuff um, kind of recently, but like just like taking visits to other schools like a little bit ago. So, yeah, actually, it wasn't even recent. It was a little while ago. So, like, kind of saw it coming. He was posting like in Ohio stuff in Ohio State and Iowa a little bit ago. So, like, I kind of figured he wasn't going to stick with Minnesota. But yeah, I just I, all I did is I took my uh... was that a was that a commitment post that Iowa post? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so he's 100% going to Iowa now. Okay. And, and I believe that will stick. The only reason I didn't think the early commitment to Minnesota was going to stick was because of how young he was at the time. I'm like, and especially yeah. in this changing culture with NIL yeah. and everything else. I was like, say, once, once I'm at NIL hit, then you knew he wasn't going there anymore. And all I did was I, because I think I, I searched from Justin Bash mentioning <laughs> Chittam. And I just quote tweeted it with the slay target emoji. <laughs> I'm like, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy for him. He, he's a great dude. There's a lot of young dudes right now that are like great guys and girls that are like, as they become the face of the sport, like there's so mm-hmm. many superstars. I actually had yesterday a Greco U17 world champ. He's a stud. Joel. Joel, Joel Adams. Yeah, he's good. He's a stud. He won like 36, nothing. 
Yeah, he whooped on everybody. He's he dominated. Like, I didn't know he was a Greco guy, but makes sense. I watched yeah. lots of free stuff, folks. Though it's funny because I know all these high school kids now for, because I was a coach for a year in college. And like, <laughs> I still I have, don't. <laughs> I have absolutely no business like knowing high school kids. Like I was watching some of Fargo and stuff like that. I was rooting on the kids. I was like recruiting and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you'll stay now, like following it all, or no? Yeah. Like, see, uh, I need I need to get like that in where then once you're I feel like once the switch flips, you're, you're all in there. and it's hard to like not watch. I, I don't want to be I don't want to be all in watching high school wrestling because so um, uh, one thing I've been told, which I, I believe to be true, is if you like, can't watch too much bad wrestling, you can't watch too much high school wrestling. So if, I, if I'm watching the high school guys, then I'll, I'll mix in some like high level international wrestling with it, too. I'll throw a couple matches on just so just to refresh the brain but it's sense. uh it's funny like this year i'm sitting i'm sitting here in my apartment watching fargo on my computer rooting on all the kids last year i'm there recruiting not knowing who any of them are has that it's, kind of felt like a little thing. bit of a relief though that you don't have that like i mean you you didn't just oh, yeah. jump into coaching and and that was never like that opportunity opened up you hopped in it but it wasn't like you really prepared for that. And then on top of that, that had to be one of the toughest coaching jobs to walk into because of where Stanford was, was at the time. Like you were doing double work the entire year. It's pretty tough coming onto a team that has a returning national champ. Uh, no, but we, we, had, we had like, we, we had some, we had some like pretty good wrestlers. So it, they made the transition not as bad. Like if yeah. we had 10 non-qualifiers, and yeah. along with like the current the situation it was, then that that would have sucked. Fair. That would have sucked. But it it didn't though. It was it was good to learn and it was good to have those guys around though too, because it's you know, you have some veterans around, right? You got like Shane Real Woods. So they made the you know, kind of that transition easier for us, but still at the same time, like twenty three guys, not much other help elsewhere. So it was uh yeah. It was <laughs> it was a fun year. It was it was interesting. I think they're going to, you know, be doing good here forward, though. I think Ryan Deacon's going to do a great job there. Yeah, that was a great hire. Mm-hmm. I really like Deacon. I tried getting you on when he came on. Timing didn't work out. But Deacon is Deacon's one of those guys that, especially if you have a conversation with him, he's so yeah. wholesome and all-American. Like, he just... Well, I was... I, um, I'm, I'm not going to be like, I was the one to, you know, get him there. But, like, I was... before. Oh, I you're was the one even... who said... have. Yeah. Before I was even thinking about leaving, I was in Rob's here about getting him out there just to be an RTC guy. Yeah. Like, you know, whenever I was still on the coaching staff, because I just, I like him a lot and he's a good dude. I think he's a lot to offer. Um, so, like, I think he's just, I think he's going to be great out there. But yeah, they're, that's why I, I feel, I feel okay leave, leaving, leaving those guys. Yeah. With, they're, uh, they're, the good hands. Over there. they're, they're, they're very good hands. Grant's going to keep getting better too. Just, so I need funny. to tell, I need to tell Deacon just like watch, like, you know, don't let Grant like jump on you or anything like that. I like, still whatever. randomly see those photos from after the semis. Yeah. <laughs> they randomly just float through Instagram, discover page, and like Twitter. Just randomly. Oh, nowhere. People, people randomly bring it out to me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, remember whenever you were holding your buddy? And I was like, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> you were holding him like a child. <laughs> Well, yeah, it, was oh, a, it, was a great take, it was a great takedown. It was warranted. Now, I'll tell you what. No, so I'm hoping now that you have more time, we can get back to doing more episodes. This, this more, I I think we can. I uh, I'm gonna get my podcasting equipment back. That stuff's still in California. We have to get that, and I'll tell you what I'm excited for because this changes things. So, right. our plan a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago maybe two years ago, I don't know, was that for NCAAs, we were going to go there and now we can do it. We can do videos, right? Oh, so now that plan can be bad. A man. I'm looking to get a suite too in Tulsa. All right. Because having the media credential, Willie was, Willie's always hilarious on press row. Um, But the problem is, is, he just absolutely disappears. Like he'll he'll completely like not miss a round, but he'll randomly go to like the Oklahoma suite for an entire round. So I that hung out. About, that sounds that sounds about right. Yeah. yeah, that's Willie. So I was hanging out with Zeb Miller, awesome dude. I love mm-hmm. that guy. 
was hanging out with him a ton during NCAAs. But if you're not on press row, there's not a lot of things to do other than like being in the tunnel, which is very awkward at times. Like you're seeing athletes and coaches, you know, that either are about to wrestle or they just wrestled and you don't really like, I never know what to do. I never know. And <laughs> yeah. Thank yeah, God. Guess. Like I either kind of like, they'll come up to me and say something like Aaron Brooks saw me in the back and, and he like took his headphones off, came over, talked to me. Like, he's an amazing kid. Other Isn't kids. It? I'm just like, I don't really want to go bother them, but I think the move next year is to get the press pass and get a suite. So we'll have a suite. Maybe we'll like raffle off a spot in the suite or something. Oh, can't, can't have, we only sit with a random. No, no, not like a random, but like, you know, we'll pick a winner. Okay. Well, we and like, pick, if we pick, we no, pick not a winner. random. I'm not, <laughs> as some random person, like listening to everything. No, like, um, imagine if you had like a contest or whatever, but you pick the winner. Like, you say that ahead of time. Okay. Pick a winner. You pick someone collectively to come hang out with you. I like that. I like, I like, you know, you're going to have people like LG. Can I, can I win? No, you're already There's in. M- you oh, need, right. you need to help like pick, pick somebody. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Like like just nah, imagine for example. Absolutely not. Imagine we do some kind of thing like send us a paragraph on why you should be with us. And Joe <laughs> Bastardi <laughs> writes a great paragraph. <laughs> I think I think Joe Bastardi wins right. You know what now. I mean? Like that's what I I'm, think like, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's in. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Joe. <laughs> um but yeah, that that's what I'm thinking. So I'm excited for that. I want to get back to doing more and more you, episodes. You know, and, Joe, you know, Joe Bastardi was in a band. I did not know that. Yeah. Rob showed me some of his songs. They're pretty good. How long ago was that? Because he's pretty detailed on Facebook with there his was past. While. Yeah, no, it, was, it was a while ago, but uh, I, I heard a couple of their songs. I forget the name of the band. But we should get him on here to play. Some. I was just going to say that. We should, that get, we, should get Joe, we should get Joe on here to play some music for us. But, but yeah, we could uh, we could start recording some more and stuff like that. You know, yep, like once got, I get my co- once I get my coffee pot, then we'll be good to go. Yeah, or we can get you a Bash Mania sponsored coffee. That's fine. You're an athlete again. The sponsorships mm-hmm. are in play. Sponsorships are in play. Water is in play. Everything's in play. Companies listening to this. See, this is how we can kind of, I don't know if I should say this, but Bash will start the bidding for the sponsorships. So other companies now that are listening that want to mm-hmm. sponsor, they're, we're going to set the price. That's great. That's good news. Because I think that's, you know, as an athlete, you need that. Um, so you don't know where you're going to compete. You're still figuring that out next competition yeah. and stuff. I mean, because we just got to figure out what foreign travel and everything is going to be like. Because, I mean, there's like stuff in Russia, but, but, you know. Yeah. So, well, I don't know if like that's going to be doable. It's looking like no, but we'll, uh, we'll see. And like, you know, we'll compete at practice every day. Yeah. Yeah. I wish we get a Rockman camera in there to watch. I saw I literally the video you reshared from the Sunkiss Kids yesterday. Yeah. Like where you like slap Frank up real quick. I'm like, yeah. oh, I want to go to a practice. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> so for me, like, I want to come there. And by the way, if you guys aren't following Sunkiss, go follow them on Instagram. Sunkiss, Sunkiss Kids Wrestling Club. They're great. Make sure you're following Chenzo too. Actually, he doesn't want followers. Sorry, I take that back. You can follow me now. Oh, okay. Cha- now it's the followers. I changed my mind. Now it's athlete Chenzo is back. Go ahead and follow. I'm back. Him. Um, <laughs> I'm completely off topic, but I haven't talked to you since. Did you watch the fights this weekend? Yeah. Molly and Patty? Of course. Yeah, I mean... I bet on them both. Well, yeah. Of course you did. I lose lose FanDuel and, like, the the betting apps after football. I delete them because I don't bet on anything else. Now that football starts in a couple weeks, I downloaded them. And I just knew Patty and Molly were going to, like... They're electric city. Well, they, they just said that fight was set up for them. You think so? Well, like UFC fight in, in London, like, yeah, they're going to give them opponents that they think they could probably beat, right? So, yeah, I mean, that girl's shoulders that Molly fought were oh, massive, something ma- else. <laughs> massive. The chick was slapped together. The, the, those things were something else. Like, that was oh, one yeah. of the most jacked women I've ever seen. Um, Patty, 
No, I'm not, I know I'm what not, you're no, saying. Hey, hey, I, I, I'm, not, I'm absolutely not saying it was like a setup fight or anything like that. No, no, no. Like I, I, no, but everybody, like, I talked to Bo about that when he was on, like, taking yeah. fights at different stages in your career to get you to the yeah. next stage versus just right. taking on. No, I, I get what you're saying. Yeah. I was well, thinking I, of it. Yeah. I think UFC is doing a freaking awesome job. Like, like that, that felt, that felt like a, like a pay-per-view card last weekend. And it wasn't, like, I, I, know. Think I, th- I think they're doing a really good job. Like having stuff like every weekend. It's keeping me highly entertained. I was about to buy the pay-per-view because I really wanted to watch Patty. And then I logged into ESPN Ugh. plus and I saw I had it. For then you re- and then like, you real- I think you realized that it was the pay-per-view. Um, and like, I think this weekend is a pay-per-view. Yeah, I believe I believe but like is. I like last weekend's card better. I have a feeling I'm going to get in more and more in MMA. I will as buy like it, though. Some of our guys, more guys like are fighting like Bo. Bo, Bo fights uh, August, August 9th? 6th, maybe August 9th. 6th, 6th or 9th, something like that. Yeah, it's a uh, actually, it's it's contender the, ser- yeah, I think it's a sixth it's a contender series fight, but it's like on like a Wednesday or something. Let me look. Is it because the sixth is Saturday? Sixth is Saturday. Yeah, no, he doesn't fight on the shit. I don't know. I'll Google it. If you're August like, 9th. Watching... You're right. You're right. August Tuesday. 9th. Yep. Tuesday, yeah, because I thought it was super random. But, yeah, uh, Tuesday, August 9th, watch Bo Nickel knock someone out <clears throat> or watch him strangle someone, whichever, whichever I, he feels yeah, like doing at the time. I can't wait. His video is pretty funny I... that he put out, like working on my striking. <laughs> He just yeah. double legs the guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's he's pretty good with that. I don't know. I'm I'm excited for him, man. I'm there's a lot of like like we've talked about a lot of those Penn State guys are gonna gonna, gonna go into MMA. And there's a where I just was, I mean, obviously a huge MMA presence. I'd rest work out with Duran Win a lot. Uh, but even so like here down here in uh Phoenix area, huge MMA presence. Maybe it's just everywhere. Maybe just everyone's doing it now. I feel like you, you you're hitting some hot spots from California, Penn State, like Arizona State. It's I've I've thought about it, but like I don't know. You've thought about fighting? Oh yeah, but like I've seen so few legs snap in half and stuff like that. It's like it's not the it's not like the actual like getting hit that like would turn me off. It's like the it's the freak things that kind of like turn me off from it. Yeah, I love if I bet on the fight or if I'm invested in a fight and I know the person, I can watch it. If if they're if I have nothing invested in the match or in the fight, yeah. I, some of those things like skeeve me out. Just like yeah. yeah, I mean, like, you know, somebody's face swells up like a balloon and their yeah, opponent part- doesn't let up. I understand it's part of the game. It's the just game. yeah, it's even it's the most it's brutal, man. I think the fight before Molly's I turned is when I turned it on. We got it. We got to get you in there. And where? We in a fight. We got to get you in the cage. Anybody wanted to fight Justin? Oh, oh you'll have a mile long sign up list. I'm sure. <laughs> shoot me, shoot me, shoot me a DM. We'll see if we can get something. <laughs> see if we get something going. Zach's gonna try who, to get that on a stalemate's card now. <laughs> who Who do you want to fight? I really don't want to fight anybody. Did you watch the last stalemates card? No, I didn't. I, I actually, I was on it. it completely froze. Um, I Let's did not watch it. I, I was actually going to get it honestly, just to support him. Cause I, th- I think it's cool what he's doing. He's doing something totally different. Oh, um, we have you, you and Fellers fight. All right, go on. That's, that's the easy <laughs> one right there. It's you versus Fellers. Fellers. I, I got, I haven't talked to him in a bit, but yeah, that's, that's the easy one. We can get that going. All right, yeah. stalemate's card. I didn't. I, I tried to watch it. It froze. Yeah, I was doing oh, something, so I didn't oh, order I it. Say. But <laughs> I was doing uh... something. I was doing something <laughs> I was more. Doing I, was something. Doing... I was watching it. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was doing something more important. <laughs> Dude, I told you this whole backyard thing the last two months has consumed by everything. Oh, wait. Was it, uh, wasn't someone else supposed to make, a, make an appearance today? Who? Cool your child oh that's right he's sleeping um all right maybe next time freddy that's i'm like wait a minute what yeah that's right he was I must have we can't, up we can't wake the can't wake the beast at this time 
I just texted him back <laughs> in to see if he's up yet. No, I completely forgot because I was going to bring him on when we started and then let back a take him, but he was, he was sleeping. It's okay. Well, he, he needs his beauty sleep anyway. Dude, he is the, ha- like the photos you see and that I send you and stuff like he is the happiest baby bar none. That's awesome. Like he, That's great. he wakes up and he'll hear the door open and he lays perpendicular to the bars and he pulls himself sideways with the bar and does a head spin to see who walked in. Instant smiling and laughing. It's insane. Amazing. And and both my wife and I are very like, we're more high strung. We're not very happy go lucky. Like you could see why he's so happy. I'm stressed all the time. And this kid's just the happiest kid on the planet. It doesn't make any sense. It's it's so great though. It's pure bliss. He got no got no worries. No. Can you imagine that life with like your biggest worry is like not wanting to be changed or something? It's kind of where I'm at right now. It's not too bad. <laughs> like I'm just I'm chilling. Like, <laughs> what are you doing? Right biggest... now? You do like practicing twice a day? Uh, yeah, I work out like twice a day. That's really about it. What are you doing the rest of the time? I'm getting my apartment together still, right now. Like, that's that's about it. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, I'm trying so to you... find some hobbies. <laughs> When I was through a breakup like four or five years ago, I took up the piano. It was the best hobby I ever took up. I don't have a piano. No, you go to somebody. They teach you. They have a piano. Then you get one eventually. Oh. You're good at it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't just sit there and like start. Oh, you could get a keyboard I, and start practicing. No, you get a teacher. Yeah, if I got a keyboard, sir, I wouldn't even know where to start. So there Ho- you go. Hobbies are good. You definitely need like, to get some hobbies. I mean, like I'll golf and stuff like that. I, I can't golf terrible at it well, i also same, don't do it i also I'll don't do have though. the patience i'll be in the third hole and a client will call me Bro, you just went out. you just went and took piano lessons what are you talking about you want patience for golf i feel like piano lessons would be tougher for me at least because uh, you're sitting you're actually just sitting there ye- yes and no piano lessons is like 30 <laughs> minutes 45 minutes you're done Golf is a whole oh, golf, golf golf's a hours. whole day shenanigan. And that's if you're not going to the clubhouse <laughs> after. And that's oh yeah. Golf is a whole commitment I can't make. And I'm just gonna but Frank golfs a lot. Does Eric golf a lot? No. Could you imagine Eric golfing? His his fuse <laughs> no. is like the shortest thing of all time. But Frank's fuse, too. I mean, if you're talking about short fuses. Yeah, but but Frank is just like he's such a competitor. And he wants yeah. to win so bad that he can like put that on hold for later. Like Eric's just like straight fire. Like he, <laughs> like one, one bad shot, he's done. Has there been any? I know it's only been two weeks, but has there been anybody you've rolled around with yet in the room that's like really surprised you that like you're you're excited about? See, he's pretty good. You think? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, no. Um, it's a, it's about what I expected. Um, they have a good good amount of you know pretty good guys around my around my weight though. Um, I wrestled with uh, wrestled with my boy Tony Negron yesterday. He's out here transferred from Penn State. There are a lot of it's like a I, Penn State hub. I rolled with him. All right, look at he was first coming into Penn State. Uh oh. <laughs> what's look up it. dude with the john deere shirt on here do you what's want that? you want to hear him <laughs> who's that hey fr- hey freddie what's up dude <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to see where the audio is coming from yeah, he has no idea <laughs> hey buddy you want to say something <laughs> any anything will do man he hears you but he can't make the connection to the he's, computer i love it he's doing a great job I mean, he's well, just like first po- first first podcasting experience. He's kind of crushing it. Dude, this thing is like doesn't have much thing. to say. Yeah, what are you doing there? There you go. Ooh. No, he he loves working. He just likes to sit on my lap. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to grab the mic. Say hello. <laughs> 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 he's trying to like process it like he's he, that's what it looks like it looks like he has no absolutely no idea what this equipment in front of him is it's like you ever see those pictures 
on the internet and it's like none of this stuff exists in reality you're looking <laughs> at it and you can't like can't even like think of what it could possibly be yeah that's that's, that's freddy that's <laughs> he doesn't know what this mic is he's it's something new to him mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> He's looking at you. That's what he's. Hey, bud. Because you're on your videos on top. Hi. <laughs> oh man. See, I wonder if Sunkish makes onesies. Yeah, we're gonna have to get him one for sure. Mm-hmm. Added to his arsenal. Um, what's the score of you and Colton? I haven't even seen Colton yet. Really? Yeah, he's probably doing camp like greco camp and stuff like that so mm-hmm. probably probably getting ready to go win a medal or something all right becca can you take them so so the the important stuff yeah just the world championship that was a good that was a good debut freddie <laughs> you did good, <laughs> good <buddy>. job <laughs> good job pal it was a good debut we'll see you we'll see you next time <laughs> he's like i don't want to leave bye <laughs> <laughs> His hair's coming in, looking good. Got a little mohawk almost going on from what it looks like over there's, here. There's so much on the screen right now that he's. By the way, if you're not li- if you're listening to this and you're not watching, go on Rockfin or YouTube because this will make a lot more sense. Yeah, Fred, Freddie's hanging out. Freddie's Bash Mania debut, at five and a half months. He did. He did well. But probably better than my debut would have been at he five did. and a half months. He just woke up. He just got done eating. So, And there's so much on my screen right now, the recording stuff, the Zoom, your video, mine. He doesn't know which way to look at it. But, well, dude, you got a lot of fun stuff going on. I'm really excited that you're you're back competing. I'm excited, too. For a plethora was, of reasons, but. An ab- absolute plethora. It was, it was time. Oh, the old magnet over here. Man, but, Mike Mock uh-huh. is everywhere. Where James, is he right now? James Green just posted a U17 uh, freestyle team is ready to go. And there's Mike Mock. Mike Mock is with the, with the U17 team. <laughs> he is. I don't know if he's coaching or what. He's out Dude, there. Cody, ooh, Cody Merrill just won bronze, too. Did he? Co- that, kid's, that, kid's a st- that kid's a stud. He's a hammer. He would come to our Z workouts. He's freaking good. I've seen him beat senior level guys like multiple senior level guys that practice he's a high schooler he just won fargo just got bronze uh cadet greco worlds i'm trying to think i i saw him wrestle somewhere not too long ago it wasn't fargo it was like a couple months ago and he really impressed me i can't remember what it what it was at but yeah he's yeah, he's, he, uh, uh, he, he's a gilroy he's a gilroy boy with uh dc and duran and yeah he's He's so good. <laughs> Are there any other wrestling things that you and I have not discussed over the past few um, months? I feel like so mm, much has happened. We've both been like dealing you know, we with didn't really stuff. Talk, we didn't really talk about the stuff that I, I really competed in. Just I mean, we talked about me competing in it, but we, like we didn't talk about like Seth Gross beating Dayton Fix or anything like that to make the team. What'd you think of that? I and, think, and by the way, Kim, if you're listening, you got to love that Chenzo went right for the sun kiss kid pulling the upside. Uh, I, <laughs> I didn't even sun kiss kids through and I didn't even, even, even think about that. Um, no, I was I was surprised, but like I just thought Seth was freaking tough the entire time. He did. And Seth was just on here. He's the last episode. So if you want to hear him talk about it, go on and listen to that. But yeah, he's just he is. He's somebody you can never count out. No, Seth absolutely is just not. such a stud, and he's got like that funky style where, yeah, it, it like you look at someone like a Dayton Fix and you almost expect them to win. A guy like Seth, you look at, and his style isn't that same dominating style, but he finds those ways to win. He's just he, he does. It's like, it's kind of impressive too, because like, if I'm wrestling a guy like that, like number one, it's like, all right, like I'm not putting myself in on a bad shot yeah. yet. Yet guys continuously find themselves on bad positions and on his legs. I think that he does a good job of getting them there. Um, but yeah, he just, and then like, he'll put you in on his legs, put you on his legs, go for two on ones. And then boom, he takes a shot out of nowhere. And, he's, and then he's in it's uh. It was a different Seth Gross than we've seen, I think. It was a definitely a more like taking more chances. Yeah. And I love 
I think I said this to him when he was on. I love seeing the guy who does not turn down an opportunity to compete, like finally make yeah. a world team like that. Like he wrestles yeah. at every Wisconsin RTC card, every Rockman card, you name it. He's there. He doesn't turn down an opportunity and he'll lose, like lose big to Joe Clone or something. And then he still went out and but beat he, yeah, Fix, he was a right. world silver medalist. Like that's the thing that was so crazy to me is I don't think many people, myself included, like I was talking to Willie about should we do a preview show for the world team trials? And part of it for me is like almost every weight I've got a connection to a guy that like I'm either rooting for them or I'm not going to pick against them. So it's kind of right. pointless. But the other thing was like, look at bias aside, how many underdogs are you taking in a lineup where like everybody's basically not everybody like maybe eight out of the 10, whatever it is, like returning world medalist. Like it's very hard to pick that right. upset and not just either sound biased or sound, you know, like you're rooting for that guy. So, and the tough thing about making this team is that like to make our team now, we're so deep as a country that you have to beat a world medalist or a world champ just to make the I team. I think it's great. Yeah, it makes, it makes it makes it tough and shit to make the team, but I think it's great though that we're that deep and that good right now. Yeah, and I think Seth beating Dayton gives me a lot of confidence that he can medal at Worlds. If you can beat Dayton, two out of three, I think you yeah, can medal he, at Worlds. Wait, I think he has such a unique style that he could he could wrestle with any of those guys. What did you that, think of? Um, sorry, keep going. No, that's that's all I got there. What did you think of Hayden Zilmer winning? I don't think too many people saw that coming. I thought that was cool. Um, again, like si similar thing to Seth, just wrestled tough the entire time, right? Yeah. When there's time on the clock, he's scoring. I mean, um, I thought it was pretty impressive. Quizzes, quiz isn't just like obviously quiz is a lot bigger than him, but like quiz yep. is a good wrestler. Quiz is a good wrestler too. So yep. I think we got to give him a little more credit. Um, but, yeah, I thought he wrestled well. I thought Zane – I think Zane's wrestling really well right now, too. Uh, I got to shout him out because awesome. that's, that's my dog. But, yeah, even, like, you know, overseas, he looked good. Um, that he series with Jordan. Really good. That series with Jordan was good, too. And he – Zane even looked good at the trials. His match with Pantaleo, he looked awesome. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think I think team's looking good right now. But that's really about it, though. We've kind of – kind of covered everything else wrestling wise yeah i mean there's i started watching baseball recently but that's kind of boring oh yeah dude you definitely need hobbies yeah <laughs> that's what i'm saying <laughs> mccutcheon's trying to get me into baseball oh you're out yeah. with matt now yeah mccutcheon lives out here yeah too. yeah i forgot yeah well, Doc, uh... dr matt dr We're... matt We'll work on a little project. Oh, yeah. Dr. Matt. Uh huh. You told me, he told me about that. Yeah. Let's go. I, I'm super, super excited to be helping him. I love Matt. Yeah, he's one of the nicest he's kids a freaking, on the planet. Yeah. Him and uh, him and his wife, Casey, are like two of the nicest people ever. They're awesome. That's why uh, Frank's wife was actually saying, like, when are you in the family coming out here? Like, all your people are yeah, slowly dude. coming to Arizona. And I'm like, you're right. And that's when I was right when we were texting. I'm like, I literally just told Chenzo, like, I think you should do it soon. That way, Freddie can get used to the heat. You know, the, if he, the if problem he to, is not if the he problem. To acclimate as a child, then like he'll be he'll be good to go. It gets so dang cold here that I kind of want to save a lot of these trips for when it's like snowing on the ground here, mm. and then get gotcha. out. To the, you have all I have all these excuses to go to warm weather. Yeah. Plus, like it would be fun to also go to like a big Arizona State duel with you. Because since you're not like coaching, like that's the one thing. Like if I would have went to a Stanford one, like you're coaching, yeah, yeah. I'm like sitting right. by myself. But if I can sit with you, we can. That would be fun. So, and I'm sure Matt will go. LG will come out just for that. Sounds he should have made us. He should have made a special appearance today. Luke, <laughs> yeah. absolutely not. I want his. He, I, I want him hits, to come he on. He hits me up too much anyway. <laughs> I want him to come on in the next couple of weeks with us and tell us his five craziest, boldest picks for the upcoming college and NFL season. Okay. I, I like that. I think we should just have him on like regularly for like a short segment after football 100%. weekends. All right. 
we could start getting back into football weekends and all that stuff. Dude, too. I, I am so I'm trying not to let summer go by too quick, but I'm also kind of not over summer, but like I wanted to enjoy our pool in our whole backyard this summer. That ain't yeah. happening. Right. So I'm like ready for fall. Dude, just yeah. give me like those college football Saturdays, those NFL Sundays. I I'm ready for fall too. Cause it won't be 115 degrees here anymore. No, just 104. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just a, just a, just a smooth hundred. <laughs> It'd be easy. Yeah, just an even hundred. All right, man. Yeah. Well, it's been real. That's all I got. Yeah, we. Uh, it was good catching up. Let's do Always. another episode really soon. Yeah, we could do that. Um, let's. We could let's, start. We could start kind of hammering this again, getting guests and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I think I think LG's picks. What happened to LG's thoughts? I think the internet shut it down. I think the internet shut that down too. I thought that was a great idea. The Just internet like looked at it and said, "Not a good idea." No, said no. <laughs> said nope. Anyone right, can we have can, a website, but Luke. We can restructure that for next time. Yeah, Luke's <laughs> Luke's thoughts will be coming back. But that was that was a good little dry run. Now I think this is. Uh, we'll hit. We'll hit it for real. Yeah, we'll hit it for real. We should also get some of the Arizona State guys in the podcast. That'd be cool, too. All right. I know Colton was going to come on. I uh, got to schedule that. But all right, man. Now I could just harass him and make him. Yeah, I might just have to send another podcasting thing. We'll have two mics right there. We got to get your stuff from California. Yeah, I'll I'll get it here. My buddy, my buddy Gabe has it. He's been rapping with it. And we need the, (laughs) the, uh, I thought like you were kidding at first, and then I thought about who Gabe is that he's actually rapping with it. So, like, yeah, he's been yeah. rapping. He's been rapping with. It. Yeah. yeah, I thought I wasn't connecting them at first, but we also need to get the Chenzo singlet. All right, done so, deal. All right, man. I'll send it soon. We will speak right. soon. See you, man. Later, homie. See you. And the beat goes on.